Welcome to the second part of the XMLP tutorial series for beginners. This section will be dedicated to creating a very simple template using BI Publisher Design Helper for Microsoft Word. The first step to creating the template is loading the XML file into the RTF. To do this, open up Word, and then go to the BI Publisher tab, which should be visible if you have properly installed the add-in. Now, if you're having difficulty viewing it, then you'll need to go to File, Options, then select Add-ins, Next, select Com Add-ins, and click on Go. If you don't see that BI Publisher option available, then the add-in is not installed. If the add-in is there, then click on the Sample XML to load the data. Select your file and then click OK. Upon successfully loading the data, you will get this message. Now we are ready to use what is called the table wizard to insert a simple table into the template. Select table, click next. Since we have only one repeating element, click next and continue. In this part, we may select the fields that we want to display in our table. Use the button to select the required ones and then click Next once you're done. Here you can select how to group and sort the data. We will not cover this extensively because the data is sorted already on the query side. The only thing you need to do is check the option data already sorted and then click finish. So now what we see is that the table is being populated. We can go ahead and add a title if we want at the top of the table. Just gonna go ahead and type in classes given in with a colon and leaving room at the end to enter a dynamic field that will auto-populate the description of the term. We'll do this at a later point. In the meantime, feel free to insert pictures, logos, or do any other formatting that you want, such as changing the font color or the size. Doing that here at the table. You can edit different parts of the table, like the heading titles as well. Just give them a more meaningful name rather than have the, um, the fields that are taken out of the query. And this is basically how our final template looks. At this point, you can go ahead and click right after your class is given in description or title. Select BI Publisher, click on Fields, get this dialog box here. Select Description Short, which is the field that contains the term values. Click on Insert, and this will basically populate that term value. Now, before we can preview the template, it needs to be saved as an RTF file. If you do not save it and you go to Preview, fear not, for the system will indeed prompt you to save once you click the Preview button. So let's go ahead and save the file give it a unique name. Now go to preview menu and click on PDF. A pop-up window with a PDF file containing sample data opens. If you're not happy with the preview, then keep making those changes. You can go back as many times as you wish to make changes to your layout. Once done, save the template file and move on to the next step as illustrated in part three of this beginner series for BI Publisher. And here I'm just showing you a few examples of how you can go ahead and edit the um, layout and the design features on your table um, or anywhere on your report really. You go ahead and save the changes and then click on preview PDF once more and see what you've done. If you're happy with it, move on. It's easy as that. 